Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Catch, and I am here today to play with these little um, coffee filters that I got from Lori at Enchanted Dream 71 on, on YouTube and on Etsy. So I have not played with square uh, coffee filters before. They're kind of cool because the way they come folded, you can already see the potential for pockets, right? So, I really, I love those, and so Lori sent me one, and I'll show you hers real quick, I put some stuff in it, but, um, so she stitched down both sides so that you have a pocket here, and a pocket here in the middle, and one on the back, so you can fill it with all kinds of goodies. So, I'm going to show you first, um, how she did this one, obviously, you could probably figure it out, I'm just saying we'll just do one together and then I'll show you the one that I came up with but see you could do like that and then slide all of it you know into a pocket or um, you know paper clip it onto a page and you'd have lots of journaling space and it's super duper flat so very cool so I'll show you kind of or at least how I think she did this one <laughs> okay so I'm thinking she's used the inside pockets because they're a little lower down than the outside pockets so I think she had to have turned it this way let me see if she I could be wrong here because I only see oh she just use one side I'm so confused already see but I think she might have just used one side of it but how'd she get both of these sorry I did I thought she just stitched up both sides when I looked at it the first time but then I just realized that um, she's probably laughing because I'm a dope but oh I know she cut this part off turned it this way, like this, and then uh, did both of these sides. I got it. <laughs> Sometimes I'm a little slow. So let's see. We'll cut these, and she may do this part different, I don't know. And I'm sure she's probably showed it on her channel, so definitely go check her out, and I'll leave a link in my description box below. I just saw um these in one of her journals and so that's what got me wanting to play with them okay so let's see yeah i think that's it so we're just gonna glue because <clears throat> sorry i don't know my throat all of a sudden like i got something in it but um, we're just going to use glue for now. I may go back and stitch these afterwards, but I just want you to see. So we want to just put a tiny bead of glue to glue down, you know, that little pocket side. And then we also want to put, um, a strip of glue, like right down this whole side so that it glues together as well. And then turn it over, and you're going to put glue down this side, too. And if I did these wrong, Lori, let me know. <laughs> I think I think I got it, but... Okay, so then I have that pocket and the middle pocket. Oh, I need to glue the bottom, duh. <laughs> Guess I should have looked at that harder, huh? Alright, so yeah, she stitched around that bottom part. Okay, so now I have three pockets that way that, like I said, you could clip on with a paper clip or put in another pocket. So there's that one, and the one I did is a little bit different. So I'm going to set this one here. So I had these, um, the, like the shorter pocket on the inside instead of folding it around the other way or, you know, cutting anything off. And then I took this one that's on the outside that you can see is a little bit further up and I just folded the corner up. 
and then turned it over and folded this side up. And you could probably do this with a piece of paper, but the cool part about these is they're a little see-through, so whatever you put in here, you're going to kind of see, so that's just kind of fun. And then what I did is I stitched, I like opened up this pocket like this, and I stitched right along here. But we're going to glue it so that you can see, and see that you can just use glue, you don't have to use, you don't have to stitch it. And as you can probably tell, my camera is not here yet, so I'm using my phone again. So we'll see how this goes. It went pretty good yesterday, so I think it's okay, but um, we'll see. And then I'm going to glue this top edge down, just right along the edge to make a little tuck pocket here. That's probably why I stitch, because my gluing is not the greatest. Okay, so this part's glued down and along the top. Then we're gonna fold it up. I'm gonna put a little bead of glue right down this center line. There's these funny little like holes and you can tell they're like naturally part of it because they look punched, like with a punch. I've never seen this kind of um, coffee filter used, so I don't even really know exactly how they, or what kind of machine they go in, but they're great for this. Those brown ones, you can only do so much with, because they're round. These are great. Okay, so that folds like that, and then I have a little pocket here, and a little pocket here, and then two on the inside. I'll let that dry. Okay. So I stitched mine already, so I wanted you to see what it looks like stitched as well. And these are just things that I added that we can decorate together. Let's see, I've got the two pockets here, and then I've got the pockets on the outside. And so you can see what it looks like stitched all the way around. But don't forget to open up that inside flap before you stitch it here. And then I stitched that, then I folded it back up. I stitched all the way around. I stitched down the middle and, you know, then it makes the two pockets on the inside and the two, four pockets on the outside. All right, so we can do some decorating. And then I made these little envelopes, but instead of gluing these ones closed, like the book page ones that we made together, these ones I left, you know, so they completely unfold and you can journal on them. So they are two and a half, yeah, the two and a half inch wide, and they're folded at one and a half inches. So that's how I did those, and they fit perfectly just right in there like that. And then these are just uh, two pieces of book page together and then cut to fit the pockets. So let's decorate some of those. Hope you guys are having a good day. We're doing, we're doing pretty good around here. I'm just going to use um, scraps of Medieval Mirage mainly is what I have and then I have some of my other little decorative pieces but that's mainly what I'm going to use. Yeah, I was really hoping to get that camera today but it says Tuesday so we'll see when it gets here. Alright, so, and I don't know which collections all these are from, so I apologize for that, because I usually do try to, you know, let you guys know which one they're from, but these were all in my uh, Medieval Mirage scrap bag, so, and a few in a folder that I have that are full sheets, but um, since I didn't just print them out, I don't know exactly which one they're from, but like I've said many times, pretty much anything you get from her is beautiful so you just have to go look and find one you like because she just does great work it's always pretty I think I'm mainly going to decorate the cards I might add just some little pieces of ephemera or something to the 
coffee filter itself, but I really kind of like them the way they are. So I think I probably will just kind of stick with that for now. I might add a little lace would be good. Sorry about that. Yesterday, I just wasn't sure how it would do and I'd never, um, you know, edited one for my phone. It's the same. I just didn't know. So could have done a longer one yesterday, but that's fine. I really love the way that journal came out though. And thank you to Karen. I can't tell which way these go. I think they go this way. I always struggle with the, oh, maybe it is this way. It's hard to tell what direction the writing is going, but I think it's this way. I mean, it probably isn't that big of a deal anyways, but let's add maybe another These. I think she'll fit. She might fit on the inside one. A little bit of music paper, maybe. Yeah, I like that on there. So yeah, if we get time, we'll make some cards or something, tags for the other one too. But these are really fun, Lori. You could do loads of fun things with those. You could uh, sew it in the middle into your signature, you know, right down the middle, and then have cards or whatever on each side of the, the pages. There's lots you could do. I wonder if this shoe. This is from Taylor Made Journals. Uh, it's her German scrap. Move my trash can closer. I do like that. It does feel like it needs a little bit of something like behind it. Like, let's see. A little piece of lace or something maybe Oopsie. so these would be kind of a cool thing to do for mass making because you wouldn't have to decorate everything first you could just make up um, all of them with the cut cards already using book page just make up a whole bunch of them and then you could decorate them whenever you decide what you know journal they're going into that would be a good mass making thing. All right, anything else are we doing? So let's see, how do we want this? Is this the side that this one comes out of? No. This looks better. Yeah, I like it with the back of the shoe, but it would look, you know, better in the pocket with the lace on this outside. Plus, it would go in and out of the pocket better. But my shoe's going the wrong way, so let's see. Maybe we can find something else for this one, and we can use that on the other side. Let's see. Little girl having to kind of too big birds or something would be good. Seems like everything always points that other direction. That 
still a ton of work. Well, I'm going the right direction, but I don't love this so dark <clears throat> color. These are just birds that I've found online and stuff. There's a blue one. I like that one. That will work. Get the lace down. This one almost looks inked because the color of the paper behind it's like a brown sort of color. I'm just going to do a thin amount there. I may end up stitching around these. So. Yeah, I'm, now that I see this decorated, I may want something on there. I just am not sure yet what, so think about that. Jules had to go open the door so you guys could hear my daughter's sociology class. Because <laughs> that's what they do all the time is open the doors. If you have cats, you totally know what I'm talking about. No closed doors allowed in the house. Because they'll just go open them all. Hey, Aiden. Close that door again, please. Can you please close the door again? Joel's opened it. Sorry. That's one good thing about the online thing, because she can just stop it. It's like watching TV, basically. So that's Shabby Dabby Doodah number. Stop, Jules. I like that and then we'll have to put something plain on the back see that's why this takes a, a bit to do using book page to cover book page <laughs> It is silly. But yeah, you could do all kinds of fun things with these coffee filters. And if you have some of your own, then all the easier, right? Like I said, I've not seen them before, but that's because I've only ever had the ones that take the round, the round ones. And I've never seen them in the store either. So... But then again, you know, when you're not looking for something, a lot of times it's right there and you just never saw it because you didn't need it. Okay. So there's that, and that will go right in there. And we can decorate one of our little envelopes. You can only see the back of the bird, but, you know, that's life. And I was thinking with these, I just cut, these are from uh, Medieval Mirage. I just clipped them off the page I had. Um, this one says notes on it. 
and I thought they would look cute just on there and I don't know that I'll do a whole lot else. I might go ahead and stamp them just a little bit for some interest so they're not just plain. Did I have my stamp? Sorry. Oh, you know what I can do with some stenciling now that I have the super cool brushes. I guess I'm not doing the stamp. I'll just do stenciling on it. I'm just going to do it kind of lightly on the outside because that way you could still write on either, either side. So thank you again to Robin, lovely friend Robin, who sent me the brushes because that was super kind and not necessary at all, but very welcome. She spoils me rotten, I'm telling you. Yeah, that's cool. I love that stencil, and I wish I could, you know, have my husband print those and make them for you guys, but um, that's not our design. He just found it on, you can go to these places to find things to 3D print, you know, and sometimes you have to pay for them, sometimes they're free or whatever, but yeah, we can't really sell them because that's not our design, so, but they are super cool. So, but I know, like, you know, Tim Holtz has loads of really cool stamp or uh, stencils. I mean, if I can ever, you know, get my time together better, I just stick at that. I could um, try to draw one out of something and then we would be able to use it, but I just haven't gotten that far. Not very good at that uh, repeating pattern kind of thing, but we might be able to do it on the computer if I can just come up with a design. Okay, so those are super simple to make. And then we'll just do it like this, and then we're just going to put glue on to you know the two ends of this so that the flap can still come in and out. Gail was just, uh, Gail Agostinelli was just showing, you know, how she writes in her journals and all that and talking about how she loves um, when there's all these little places um, to write, you know, in a journal. And I am bad, I don't journal. I love making them, but I just don't really journal. And so it's good to hear from people that actually do journal. Okay, so that will go right in there as a fun little treat. And then we'll do one of these cards. Actually, maybe I should do the other side and use that shoe before I forget to use it at all because that's, that's stuff I do. As you guys know, put everything away, Amy. Okay, so how are we doing? Oh, my, I hope that's still working. So, let's see. Right. I just want to make sure that was still working. Sorry, I haven't had it go to sleep, and I didn't know what it was going to do, so... Okay, so this end is this end that's going to stick out. So I think I'm going to put, I like this rose right here. Try to mostly get the rose. Save that for something else. It's got some pretty music uh, paper on it. Right. 
What else can we put with that shoe? She's got so many pretty papers. It's crazy. Some that kind of look cool. Mm -hmm. Don't know. Trying to see the colors of blue are all really different. A little bit lighter. Okay. Piece up there. <laughs> I'll do it probably like this. So I'm mostly getting. This way, no. I'm gonna tear this edge. Maybe I do want to come over that a little, but I want to tear this. Already been 27 minutes, that's crazy. Moving at a snail's pace here. Never even get one of these done, probably. Too much lamenting over what pieces to put on there. In a, this direction. And that S might be cool somewhere. Oh, this look. This is coffee or tea dye. This is actually one that I did. I don't do a whole lot of it, but I did do this one. Tear this <clears throat> I feel like I'm losing my voice today or something. Weird. Okay. I'll probably stitch on these. I don't know if I said that already, but I probably will do that. This <clears throat> new camera will have better light and everything because I have right now two uh, lights, like spot kind of lights that point down at what I work on. So, but I've always had problems with that other camera not having quite enough light with it. It seemed to do pretty good for a while and then it has been kind of weird. So, uh, that's not. work. Okay. 
but we'll just have that camera forever so that's part of it but we didn't want to buy a new one when I <clears throat> started doing this because we didn't know how long I would do it so it's amazing that camera's actually lasted as long as it has afraid I was gonna lose that video yesterday and I wanted to put put it up because that was um, fun with those leaves on the edge of the page and I didn't want to have to you know lose that video so I went ahead and put it out even though it definitely was not the best as far as that flickering of the corn that one corner It's great to use those cards to <laughs> so you don't get the glue all over your fingers. Okay, I'm not going to stick that one in yet just because of that glue. I just don't want to mess with it. But let's do our little envelope. That is something else. This one says correspondence. And I think I'll use the same stencil because I don't have a whole lot of a whole lot of stencils. This one's good. I gotta get a pin in there or it'll get clogged. I love these brushes, by the way. They are <clears throat> great. They're so soft and like I said, I always thought they were a sponge. I didn't realize that they were actual bristles. In its little jar. I think I'll think that. I really like these though because they're nice and thin, like I've said. So they won't take up too much room in a pocket or anything. to figure out how they how to do a stencil because that would be fun to do one that like goes with you know a digi or something <clears throat> is just don't glue down your flap <laughs> which I could see myself doing so make sure this one didn't glue down <coughs> bless you I'm doing homework while we mowed the lawn but he's been doing homework all day So that one's good. Then our this one can go right here. So I guess my shoe it's right here in front of my nose. Okay, and then we'll 
do these ones hopefully a little bit more quickly maybe if I do both of them at the same time or something <laughs> good luck I think I'm gonna try to fit her on there I like that image and I have another one anyway. that one too Too. And that might be kind of fun to do a little bit more variation, although I think this is more of a French than a Victorian kind of look. An earlier period, that's what I'm trying to say, but the words aren't coming out of my mouth. I actually think this one goes this direction. She can go on this other side. It's, I don't know if it's going to be tall enough. No, so we'll have to put something else around or behind it or something. I think this is from uh, Joff's bouquet of elegant eras and I know this one is maybe this will be part of that I feel like I'm covering up all those blue flowers and I do like them I like the music too, but yeah, I like that better. I just need a little something up there, not in that same colorway. Like, let me see. Hold on. I had a little music book, and I don't know what I did with it. No, that's not it either, but this might work because it's got writing in it. This was my lady that planned parties. <laughs> and so she's got like everybody's name and if they accepted and it's very cool. That's a fun find. Kind of let it go. Probably only need one name, but I can move that now. It's just confusion. Which way does this go? I think I had it this way, so I think I'll leave it that way. My glue, <clears throat> glue open that whole time, so it probably is goopy now. Oops, that needs to go under, huh? Hmm. 
remembering which layers first is half the battle. I was gonna do two at one time, wasn't I? Well, you can see how good I am with that. Let's see. I could probably tear off a little bit more of her dress. The edge of it there. Use that same page going down the other way. Oh, you don't get the accept at all, huh? It's okay, we'll still tear it right there. Weather's supposed to get really cold, actually. So it'll be interesting to see how the football game goes this week. Last week it was all the wind and the smoke, and this week it's going to be cold. So we'll see how that goes. It's that time of the year, though. Weather just changes suddenly. I love it when I find old paper with handwriting on it. I always like to see other people's handwriting, but mine is, <laughs> I don't like my own. <laughs> so funny how you do that. Yeah, that was an easy one. I love these flowers over here. Okay, put the lid on the glue before it dries out. And then, oh, we gotta put the backs on. an old book like the kind of the end pages you know so it's a tiny bit thicker than a regular book page would be but it's all kind of worn and old if you don't hit the book next to you, right? So it's kind of a cool setup that um, my son came up with. I've never used my phone, like I said before, but he hooked it up to my computer, which is r right next to me on my desk. And so I can see the video because I stand, the arm of my uh, video camera is pretty high, so I can't see the phone unless I like stand on a step stool or something. But this way I can look over and see what's on the screen. 
that's really nice. And since I may have this set up through Monday, <laughs> it's probably a good thing. And I would use my phone all the time, but I don't, I just worry about calls coming in and, and uh, stuff like that. I just don't want to have to deal with all that. Because a lot of times the kids text or call or whatever, and I want them to be able to get through. Those video cameras now I've gotten so cheap compared to what they used to be. That first one that we bought right after my daughter was born <clears throat> was not very cheap. <laughs> I think that's why we used it until it just croaked because it was like, I feel like they gotta. I mean, you want to use them as long as possible anyway because you don't want to just another piece of machinery sitting around or in a landfill or wherever. in here. Yep, I like that one, especially because you can see her out of there. You can't really see this one. You should pull it up a little and see your eyes. <laughs> so let's see. It might be fun to add a little something like there's that little one of those little hole punches that are naturally or they put in those coffee filters, but it'd be kind of fun to put a little flower or something right there. So let's see. It'd be a good spot to have some of those like tiny clusters already made up. Let me have like big, bigger roses and stuff. I don't think I have any little ones pulled out a few things to see if I wanted any of it to decorate with. What? 23 and Me is offering me the help extras for $70 instead of 120 Okay, do you know I'm doing a video? Oh. <laughs> Why'd you say what then? Well, what do you want me to say? Nothing? Uh, we'll talk about it later, okay? Okay. <laughs> yeah, he did that. 23 and Me. He's just interested in that. And uh, one of my aunts um, mentioned that we might have some Native American in our lineage, but we don't. <laughs> you know how those family things get passed down. So, but um, yeah, we don't. I didn't really think we did, but you never know in America. It is definitely possible. This is a ticket from Emma Femra. This one's so perfectly not bumped or anything. And I got those flowers off of New York Public Library. They're just ones that I found. So yeah, I think I'll glue that together and then attaching it might be the interesting part because um, I'm trying to figure out how I want this. of the um, porousness of the coffee filter. You don't want the glue to go through into the back and stick stuff together. So we'll have to put something in there for a moment. There's the corner of our stencil. Something to lift it up. A lot of times I use my bone folder or something just to lift it off of the other layer so you don't glue it together. Oh, what am I doing? I need this. I think it needs just a little lace or something behind it. Okay, where am I? Sorry, I know. 
know that shakes the whole camera. That's on that. That 23 and Me thing is pretty cool though, because like it knew, like he does not like cilantro. My dad didn't like cilantro. Um, his cousin doesn't like cilantro. And it was saying that that's like one of the factors they can tell you, you probably don't like cilantro. <laughs> and just some other things that were kind of funny that they can figure out through. Genetics. Okay. Just don't want any of this to come off of here. Lift or something. And there were a whole bunch of things like that on there that were like true. It was crazy. He says it tastes like dirty socks. <laughs> and I remember my dad saying that too. And to me, it's just super refreshing. I love cilantro. It's just funny how that's like a thing. Okay, so there's that. And I just really like it simple, but I might put like a little lace or something in here like this. This is off of Lori's packaging for her, her fabrics. Yeah, I kind of like that. I'm going to snip it where the folds are. I could iron it, but at the moment I don't have an iron with me, so... now and I could have done all the same piece but um, with the fold in the middle I don't want to add bulk to the fold so I'm just gonna take it to the fold we'll have to I want to make sure this is still yeah <laughs> put something here so that these sides don't stick together just kind of like the simplicity of it without a ton of stuff on it but you definitely could decorate them up a whole bunch what would be kind of cool though is the stencil a little bit You can see it just a tiny bit on there. I'll let this one dry and then I'll do it on there. Just go around the lace a little bit. Those afterthoughts. Luckily, this um, art glitter glue isn't really runny or anything, so I don't think it would go all the way through, but we don't want to glue our pockets together, so. Luckily, it does glue pretty fast. Want to get a good spot here. I 
one shows up a little better. I got it a little bit up there too. Okay. All right. I think that is good. Go ahead and put our ladies back in. I'm gonna try to glue this little dot down. It's one of the little perforations. Not that it's a big deal. All right, so that is it. And I think, uh, yeah, I think I need something on there too. I just don't know what at the moment. We could use, oh my goodness, come on. Do those. These are the Artie Mays tickets. It's too big. Pink one would be fun. And I'm probably not going to have another flower to use, but I could use a butterfly. I mean, I do have a red one, but actual stamp. I just saw some blue ones in there. Yeah, something like that would work, huh? wrong queen for the time period though but that's all right <laughs> we'll just fake it till we make it as my daughter says fake it till we make it Which thing was in what pocket there? Okay. Come on up here. Should put that down first, but. hang on to it. <laughs> okay. That dry for just a second. Check this side for yeah, it's good still on these. Alrighty. There she is. I think that's those are so fun, Lori. Awesome, awesome. 
Thank you for having those in your shop. Those are great. Oops, just hit my light. I hope you guys have an awesome day, and thank you so much to all of you, and um, have a good weekend, too. And we'll chat again soon. Bye-bye now.